Sonic Spider Web. Uh, lesson today I would like to invite your attention to is learning the names of the notes on your instrument. In this case, the guitar. Perhaps we'll tackle the piano sometime in the near future. So, can you see me? So, we're going to begin by simply stating all you really need to know to learn the names of the notes is on your instrument is where one of them are, where one of the notes are, and by deductive reasoning and using the dodecagonic inner portion of the sonic spiderweb, which has the musical alphabet spelled out in it, on it, in order, you can learn the names of the notes on your instrument. So for example, on the guitar, the low E string, the heaviest one there, and the bottom string sometimes it's called, could be the top, but I'm going to go with the bottom, is tuned typically to an E pitch. So that is an E note. The note directly above that, at the first fret, would be an F note on the sonic spiderweb that is in a clockwise orientation away from the E note, as referenced here. After that, we have an F sharp and a G flat. These are enharmonic notes that can be spelled differently but sound the same. After that, we have a G. This is at the third fret. Am I with me so far? Am I making this clear? I think so. After that, we have an A flat and a G sharp. Again, same note, written differently but sounds the same. We have an A note at the fifth fret. A sharp, a B flat, because it's a half a step higher than the A, but a half a step lower than the B. And this makes it an A sharp, higher in pitch, or a B flat, lower in pitch, by a half a step. B, after that we have a C note. We are at the eighth fret at this point on the E string, right? You can see that? There. After that, we have a C sharp, D flat. I almost forgot my musical alphabet, and it's right here in front of me. After that, we have a D, the 10th fret. After that, we have a D sharp, or E flat, at the 11th fret. And then we are back around to the E again. At which point the alphabet would begin again if we wanted to scale up further the neck. F at the 13th fret. F sharp, G flat at the 14th. G at the 15th. And these notes are all octave above their corresponding lower octave note. So G at the 3rd fret and G at the 15th fret is the same pitch, just an octave above. That is, eight notes separated from itself in the musical alphabet, even though it's technically 12 steps away. Alphabetically, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, making up the musical alphabet, there's only seven notes. So at the time you come back around, to the A, you are at an eighth, an eighth, the eighth pitch or the octave. So, and that can happen in any of the twelve musical notes. Well, fifteen if you want to go that way, because of the enharmonic shifting capabilities of the musical alphabet. Uh, same thing can happen on the A string. That's the next string next to the E string. A is typically the fifth string pitch tuned to an A. I know, right? What does this guy know what he's talking about? No, I don't typically, but I make it up as I go along. So after A, we have A sharp, B flat, first fret. Then we have B at the second fret. After that, we have C, C sharp, D flat at the fourth fret, D at the fifth fret, D sharp, E flat at the sixth fret. The 7th fret, we have an E again. Remember the E low string? That's an E on the A string, right? The same E. And we have an F after that, again, following around our sonic spiderweb. But we can see these notes are the same no matter what string we're playing them on. It's just a matter of learning them so that if we're trying to communicate an idea to a fellow musician or to ourselves even, knowing what pitch we're playing with can go a long way in helping us understand the musical concept we are trying to play, generate, or enjoy. So, that being said, that is the simplest aspect of the Sonic Spiderweb that is available at guitarbow.com. Now, let's end our lesson on a little... Uh, 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 uh.
And that's a simple little ditty to play. That's just a C, G, F sharp, G, G sharp, G, B, C. And you just gotta get it up to speed. I did, so there you go. Thank you for watching.